Hello, my name is Carolyn Pearson and I work for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Risk Management Center. In this video, I will share the top 10 lessons we wanted you to take away from this training course. Number one, ensure the quantity and quality of your input data. We will want to use unregulated inflow data to perform flow frequency and stage frequency analysis. Also, we will want to be sure to estimate an appropriate critical duration and peak to volume ratio for the flow frequency analysis. And lastly, we want to use as much data as is practical for the level of flood hazard study. Number two is the importance of sensitivity analysis. It is very important to perform sensitivity analysis to ensure we have a strong understanding of how input data affects both volume frequency and stage frequency. Number three is that RMC Best Fit uses Bayes' theorem to find the most likely posterior parameters. RMC Best Fit is fully capable of incorporating all of the available hydrologic data and RMC Best Fit quantifies uncertainty for all of the data entered. Number four is the importance of representing uncertainty appropriately using flow intervals and perception thresholds. Number five is the importance and significant influence of prior distributions for flow frequency analysis using RMC Best Fit. Prior information in the form of prior distributions for parameters, such as regional skew, and prior distributions for quantiles, such as rainfall runoff modeling using precipitation frequency, have a significant influence on the flow frequency analysis. Number six is the importance of computing defendable effective record length, or ERL estimates, which are a measure of our uncertainty. The longer our effective record length, the less uncertainty we have in our flow frequency analysis. Number seven is that RMC RFA considers uncertainty in all four inputs, inflow hydrograph shapes, reservoir starting stage, volume frequency, and flood seasonality. In this course, we learned that it is important to understand the quality and quantity of inflow hydrographs needed for the analysis and to make sure to adjust the parameters so you have 30 to 40 flood events when computing flood seasonality. Number eight is the importance of the stage storage discharge spillway rating curves used in the RMC RFA reservoir model. To ensure the spillway rating curves are sufficient for a stage frequency analysis using RMC RFA, make sure to extrapolate the stage discharge curve for extreme flood events. And remember that USACE engineering manuals 1110-2-1603 and 1605 provide great guidance for extrapolation of spillway curves. Number nine is to calibrate the flood hazard curve to the empirical stage data. To calibrate the flood hazard curve, be sure to adjust the reservoir model spillway rating curve in RMC RFA within the water control manual rules. At times, adjustments of other input data and analyses, such as the starting stage duration analysis, may be necessary. When we do calibrate the observed stage data, we increase our confidence in the extrapolated portion of the curve. And finally, the 10th takeaway is the importance of producing defensible flood hazard curves using RMC RFA. In order to produce defensible stage frequency curves, we need to perform diagnostics and sensitivity analysis so we understand what input information impacts our results. We need to ensure that we are using an appropriate time step and time window so we are not underestimating our risk. And we need to be able to explain all of the inflection points on the stage frequency curve. Most importantly, it is vital to produce defensible flood hazard curves because the stage frequency curves we develop are highly influential in the computation of the risk of dam and levee safety projects.